Okay, and we're just in short at uh, eighty-nine um, seventy-five. The uh, market is moving pretty uh, quickly this morning. It just kind of uh, got going really fast uh, off the open, and think you know we could have a kind of a an uptrending day uh, today. And going short, kind of right now, doesn't seem like the most sensible thing to do. But anyway. So we're short at 89.75, just for you know an icebreaker trade, just looking for two points. But you know, as soon as we get into a pullback uh, level here on the 500 tip bar chart, I'll probably just uh, get out, uh, if not sooner. Okay, we just reversed and went long at uh, 11.89 even. And uh, this um, normally, so the reason for the last trade was an ice breaker trade, so all these kind of professional blue bars into the high. The break of the low there, uh, kind of a signal to uh, potentially um, have a, a reversal trade. Um, this one almost went kind of two points in our favor. Uh, we didn't get down to uh, 87.75, so uh, we've now had a break above uh, these kind of blue professional bars here at 89. Uh, we've had exhaustion selling on the downside, a whole series of blue professional bars on the 500 tip bar chart, and we're coming into a cyclical turning point here. Plus, we've got a blue professional bar on the 4500 tip bar chart. So, um, the market's looking pretty strong. I mean, we kind of got going straight out of the gate uh, this morning and kind of took off to the upside. So, I actually think we're going to have a go at 1200 today. So, uh, uh, let's see. So, we're uh, long at 89 and uh, got uh, three quarters of a point on the uh, uh, the short icebreaker trade. Okay, just a few minutes later, and we got on at uh, 89. Uh, the market uh, kind of took off in our favour initially, and then just uh, ran out of steam at 91. But there was no kind of obvious, um, you know, kind of professional selling up here. We were just losing some momentum. Agreed, you know, on the 4500 tip bar chart, you can see that. Uh, here on the um, bearish divergence signal, and then we came back in to test this 88 type, type level. But again, um, no real kind of professional activity until the last couple of bars. This last move down uh, was good, um, and we can see flush signals each time we've kind of come back into these 88, uh, 89 type levels. And uh, what I'm hoping is these professional bars here are jumping. Uh, the uh, creek, and that uh, this is actually professional buying at the highs in order to kick this, this into uh, the 1190s. Okay, I just got out 1192 even, uh, which is good. Um, the reason for getting out is this is kind of a, a bit of a common pattern where I just find you know the market kind of reaches a bit of an extreme. We've got exhaustion buying on the upside here, both on the 500 and 1500 tip bar charts. Coming into these highs, you can see these professional kind of blue bars up here, whole series of them on the 1500 tip bar chart, um, and it's a cyclical turning point and so on. So that's going to kind of signal, you know, um, a little bit of a, a top for the time being. Yep, so it's coming back a bit. So um, that was three points, and I had to sit through a little bit of junk really. So. Uh, just going back uh, over this one. Uh, I was kind of getting in, I was in a little bit too early here based on these professional blue bars. This was the cyclical turn uh, that was put in. And then we didn't really have any kind of clear signals uh, during this kind of um, period here, but we did test back down into 88. So the first one here, the second one here, these blue professional bars in the middle of a range, I always find them quite difficult to interpret, so I'd kind of give them a little bit of a miss. Sometimes you know, they, they signal kind of uh, jumping the creek type stuff and, and sometimes it's profit taking. So, you know, it's it's more obvious what's going on at, at kind of price extremes that you can see here. So, still have a feeling that, you know, we're going to run to the upside today. I think, uh, you know, it's always, the market always tends to be fairly bullish coming into holidays and we've got, you know, uh, Thanksgiving. So, uh, um, you know, gut feel thinks you know might have to run into to 1200, but uh, who knows? That was three points on uh, this last uh, trade and uh, three quarters of a point on the uh, icebreaker trade, kind of earlier on. So uh, I'm just going to leave it at that.
just thought I'd do an update. It's only about uh, five, ten minutes after I just uh, came out this last trade, and we just kind of uh, kept on powering forward, uh, reached 92 and pulled back a little bit, and then just uh, raced on through. So we've, we're up to uh, 94 at the moment. So and you can see all these kind of blue professional bars kind of buying at these high, highs, exhaustion uh, buying, and so on. We're about to form an end of trend, you know, in the next few, short while on the 500 tip bar chart, but uh, you know that might only be a shoulder of this kind of move here because we're still above uh, cyclical uh, resistance here, which is now broken into an uptrend in the 4500 tip bar chart. So, uh, you know, let's see where this kind of uh, uh, ends up for the day. I'm, I'm not going to do any more trading. We've got uh, Thanksgiving uh, tomorrow. The afternoon, this afternoon, will probably be very quiet uh, because of the Thanksgiving break. And then uh, Friday is usually uh, not not uh, worth doing much unless the uh, news in Europe is uh, you know kind of extreme, either one way or the other. So anyway, just uh, a little follow up. Yep, this uh, just uptrend move. I'm typically in too early and out too early. Uh, that's just uh, my natural DNA. So. Uh, <laughs> that some things never change.